Too many times somebody walk in and make reservation without knowing about what they walk in, they surprise. Oh, it's a beautiful place. And food, it's Assyrian, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean. Then they said they enjoy the show. We start at 9.30, start soft music like dinner music. You see the action start going on and on and by midnight you see big action. Here it's uh, music and uh, beautiful culture. We sing like uh, Assyrian, Arabic, Greek, Persian, Turkish, Indian, and we sing American for sure. And we have a belly dancer, one of the best. And the band, it's a seven, eight piece band. And I think this is the best uh, experience for ethnic in Chicago. Juliana is a different world to most of us. Tell us what makes it so special for you. Well, the one thing you got to know about a restaurant like Juliana is that it's different from most of the other restaurants. You know, Middle Eastern restaurants are going to be different. It's just a whole different culture. But if you're planning to go to some place like Cairo, if you're going to ever travel to the Middle East or someplace, go here first. <laughs> because if you don't like this place, you cancel those tickets and go to Paris. So this is a very authentic look into the Arab world. Is that what you're saying? Um, you know, the 22 Arab countries and 100 Arab cultures. Um, you actually have a lot of Jewish people mm -hmm. and Israelis that go to the restaurant. Um, there are a lot of African Americans that go there. Now, you, you know, yourself are, are Palestinian. Right, I happen to be mm -hmm. Arab. And, uh, I, and plus, I love Arabian food, and it's, this is one of the places where you can get some good food in addition to a good show. I went on a Saturday night at uh, 9.30. We sat down. I knew that there was a show and they didn't give me any details other than come at 9.30 on the phone. And I sat down. <laughs> you will be here at 9.30. <laughs> exactly. And you open your menu, and, and Eddie, our server, rushed over, and he wanted to make sure that we are aware that you had to have two drinks. If you were going to, <laughs> if you're going to stay until midnight, you had two drinks, and they were $8 each. But if you're going to stay after midnight, you have to have four drinks. <laughs> and, but you don't have to have four drinks, but we'll charge you for four drinks. And we felt a little rushed that we had to get out because we didn't want to have four drinks. And so we had to make sure we wrapped up. I thought Arabs didn't drink. They're like pushing alcohol on this poor woman. <laughs> well, that, that's what's really interesting. I mean, the stereotype of the Arabs is so much different. When you go to Juliana's, you, you see real Arabs. I mean, they're drinking, they're smoking uh, shisha pipes, more commonly known as bongs. They're throwing the money oh at scantily clad they women. Have a, they have belly dancers or veil dancers, they call them. So you can rent the hookah? Right, the bong, the hookah, the shisha. I think, in a a actually, in Arabic, it's called a nargila. Okay. And basically, what it is is they burn a uh, fruit tobacco, and that kind of cools down through the water. So when you smoke it, you don't really feel the heat of the smoke; you just feel the sweet flavor. I just like saying hookah. Well, I'm curious, <laughs> what do you feel inside? Well, usually water, but if you're a college student, you might put wine and maybe a few. All other right, things. now we're getting on. <laughs> Gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> no, Deneen, what was the show like for you? I went mid-week. I didn't get a chance to see the belly dancer. I am going back, but I definitely heard that it was something to behold. Not just the dancer, but the audience participation as well. Dancing, uh, singing, you have the owner, Albert Baba. Who I like to call Ali Baba. Ali Baba. He <laughs> sings, he's a Syrian, he sings in a lot of different languages, Indian, Arabic, Hebrew. And if you really like somebody, if, if you're in the audience, the tradition is to give the waiter $50. He takes the $50, he cashes it into 50 singles, and he gets up there like a deck of cards and he rains it on the singer. Hey, huh. And Oops, that's huh. kind of a show of, you know, uh, gratitude or, you know, because really what you're paying for here, more than the food, is the show. And it's funny because there would be money all over the floor by the end of, you know, her first set, and the guy will come out with a broom. <laughs> like, <laughs> sweep it sweep up. It up. I mean, yeah. it's great. You know, there are not just, um, not just the, the waiters where people will hand the waiters or the owner right. money, but actually I saw a woman 
um, with her big group, everyone gave her money, and she went out and threw money at the at the dancer. You must feel slighted hearing about this, you know, dancing show. And no, not really. Um, I had a very, very, very good experience. My appetizer was called potato chops. Uh -huh. This was a mashed potato, and there was ground beef on the inside, and it was served with this side of mango salad, which was awesome. We had the lamb chops that were very good, and the chicken shish kebabs, and they come on the rice and uh, the um, vegetarian combination appetizer, which had right, they have the vegetarian hummus. So if you uh, don't eat servings, meat, right? Right. They, the the hummus was very good. The um, the stuffed grape leaves, mm -hmm. um, the chicken borak, right? Very good. Very what do you like to eat at Juliana's when you go there? Usually, mm -hmm. I'll order uh, lamb chops or uh, shish kebab, which is very mm -hmm. typical. And it's interesting because it, you have Greek and Arabic and even Israeli food, very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Same, mm -hmm. same type of food. A lot of rice, very spicy. Um, not hot spicy, you know, but spicy with uh, real tang. Ray, this was your <laughs> selection. Give us a quick summary. This is a place where you can really get a real taste of Middle Eastern culture and food and uh, it takes a lot of courage to, for the first time to go to a place like that, and, but it's very friendly and it, it has very good food, very top-notch food and great entertainment. And Tracy, for you? If I were going back to Juliana's, I wouldn't recommend that you don't go. You go for the show, the food and the show. It's fun for a group, and it's uh, the food was good. And Dadeen? I loved it. I will definitely return. I will definitely take other people with me to enjoy the later dinner and show. Well, you can find the hummus and the hookahs at Juliana, 3001 West Peterson, 773-334-0000. Open for lunch and dinner every day with live entertainment, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab without drinks is about $18 per person.